And here we go. Hello there, thanks for joining me. I am AV Storyteller and this is my Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Thanks for joining me again. Okay, you rejoin us within the Circle Tower. We are here on a mission to recruit the Circle of Magi to uh, help us in the fight against the Blight. But more importantly, gain more power for Katie so she can avenge herself on our how. Along the way, Morrigan told us about a grimoire, Flemish grimoire, that she wants to get her hand on and she thought it might be here and we have actually find, found it. Now, I've installed another mod as well as you can perhaps see the text in these quests and codexes is a lot bigger. You can thank Corptatch for that suggestion for pointing that mod out to me. So. It means that I should be able to now just go through the dialogue a lot quicker without having to read everything out because you should be able to uh, see it clearer as well. But, so let's have a quick check of the current uh, mission. So we've got watch, watch Guard of the Reaching. The chaos in the tower has allowed an apprentice to stumble across something ancient and hidden. Find all his notes to reveal a possible secret in the tower. That part of it. Uh, where is that? The broken circle is the main quest. And. So, find the uh, Litany of Adrala. Wynne has told you about the Liana of, of Adrana, oh I remember this, a spell that wards off the mind domination power of blood mages. Owain, the tranquil who runs the stock room, mentioned that Nile took the Litany of Andrala. Find Nile and the Litany, perhaps, we can help, perhaps he can help you battle the blood mages. So that's really what we've got our eye on at the moment. We spoke to Wynne and Morrigan briefly at the end of last episode, but we never actually touched upon the grimoire. So, uh, and I keep thinking, <laughs> I keep thinking in Skyrim terms that I need to actually speak to the person to give them the gift, but that's not the case in um, Dragon Age, is it? So, I have to go to the actual... It seems a bit impersonal. I really wish you could speak to them and go, I bought this gift, and then it brings up the inventory. So it, so it kind of feels like you're having that interaction first. Notice how the text is so... I'm pointing at the screen here with my finger. That's not going to help you. <laughs> Notice how the text is so much bigger, so much easier to read. Uh, people still feel it's a bit too small still, or in fact, if they think it's too big, let me know. So I'm going to give this to Morrigan. Oh, I forgot, it's click and hold. What? Oh! You found Flemeth's grimoire? But when I spoke of it to you, I did not truly hope... <gasps> this is a most fortuitous event. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. And I was able to change the colour as well to something that I think stands out a bit better. And it's much bigger, and so is this part down here. So, awesome! Uh, this is like uh, an essential mod, well certainly from a Let's Play point of view. So let's see, you're welcome and what do you hope to find within? What don't I even get? What don't I even get a kiss? <laughs> I've got the mod Equal Love installed, if people are wondering how on earth I got that dialogue option. I'm going to have to ask that. I think we're warm with Morrigan at the moment. Things are about to get a lot hotter. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That seems like a steep reward to ask for. Um, it was very difficult getting that grimoire. I think I deserve it. You could be right. Let us test I love the her theory. Eyes. Wow! Actual evil on evil action. So I can't hear you over the, 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 the uh, <laughs> magical music. Flemeth wished me to know. This should be interesting. I I'm sorry, Morgan. Did you say something? I was just too busy drowning in your eyes there. Anyway, let's talk to 13. Yeah, beauty. You found Flemeth's tome, gave it to Morgan, got a kiss for it. She seems quite eager to start studying it, and Mika only knows what she'll learn from it. But Phenomenal. You never spoke to then, so let's do that. You called. I did indeed. And just make sure that we've got absolutely everything that we need from our Iron Wall stoic friend. I have a question. I have a question. I am hardly surprised. 
Have we asked this one? Do you find for Elden Strange? To put it lightly, no one has a place here. Your farmers wish to be merchants. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. Let's see. Isn't there anything about Ferelden you like? Oh, you sound a bit homesick. No, that that makes him sound weak, and he wouldn't want that. Is there anything you like about Ferelden? There is interesting food it's here. It's cookies, isn't you it? You have a thing. <laughs> it doesn't have a word in the Kunari tongue. Little baked things like bread, but sweet and crumbly. That was it. Because uh, then gave the uh, the Templar Carol cookies, so he was let us into the temple to begin with. Cookies. I just knew it was going to be cookies. Yes. We have no such things in our lands. You have no word for cookies. This should be remedied. It's then going to be the first cookie baker in the Cornaria. <laughs> what, did he, what did he call his land again? Where he comes from? Oh my dear, oh dear, I should know that. I'll keep that in mind. You sound a bit homesick. Don't the Cornaria ever want to change their lot in life? Would you like to be a baker? What does that accomplish? The farmer who buys a shop is never a merchant. He is always a farmer turned merchant. He carries his old life with him as a turtle carries its shell. Think of the cookies! You could be warrior turned baker! He might be happier. He, well, maybe he was meant to be a merchant. But that makes the turtle stronger. Oh yeah, let's go for that one. Does it? It's also his weakness. If he stumbles and falls over, it pins him on his back. It is better to armor yourself with no more than what you need. One life, one duty. Hmm. Let's see what makes Den tick. So you don't think happiness is important? You can learn to find it in doing your duty, in serving your people. There is no need to search for it. Shall we move on? Not yet. I wanted to discuss something you mentioned. Speak then. That's enough for now. You said something earlier about mages? We have no mages such as you do. We have beasts in the shape of men who perform tricks. Magic is more than tricks. I'm sorry, I'm getting out of the habit of reading it out. But sometimes I will anyway, just so as I go through it. Just so there isn't this, so there isn't this long stony silence. Um, <laughs> why don't you have mages? Beasts can't do magic. Some men act the part of beasts. Hmm, mages are perfectly civilized people that get uh, possessed by abominations. Don't you think that view is a little harsh? Maybe we should stop talking about this. No. Don't you think that view is a little harsh? As a fish stranded by the tide knows the air, or a drowning man knows the sea, so does a mage know magic. So you're saying that's a bad thing? Oh, but I like that one. Knowledge is not as deadly as ignorance. Knowledge is one half of wisdom, but there are many things that can only be known too late. I feel that oh, I'm doing so badly. Are we going to fight the darkspawn or chatter until they grow bored and leave? If they grow bored and leave, uh, that'd be fantastic. But I have other questions first. Very well. You will entertain me. Um, oh, we can go over the dialogue again? I misspoke. They are not beasts. Beasts learn eventually. Um, what's so terrible about magic? Mages? Is there some reason you insist upon discussing this? Well, we are in the Mage Tower. It kind of seems pertinent at the moment. Uh, it's a subject of concern to me. Yeah, I think Casey's really liking this demonologist magic. It seems to be ticking a lot of boxes to her. Trying to figure you out, because you're wrong. Hmm. I'm trying to figure you out. I applaud your attempt to pursue knowledge, irritating as it may be. We are making all the best choices here. <laughs> Why do you think mages are evil? I know nothing of mages themselves, only their actions. There is no use talking of this. We should move on. Oh dear. I had another question. Very well. 
Oh, there, let's, let's beat this one into the ground. Mages aren't as dangerous as you. Oh, yes, they are, actually. They're very dangerous. That's enough for now. Then I suggest we move on. Um, I think you should leave. Let's see if we've got any other questions. I am hardly surprised. Oh, it's gone. It's gone now. What were you quoting earlier? The Kyun, the path to wisdom. I am not surprised you don't recognize it. Kun. And you have it memorized. What is this Kun exactly? Ask a Tamasran. They know how to explain things to children. It is not for me to teach the Kun. You calling me a Charles, then? You better watch yourself. Speak then. Um. Oh. Mm, that's enough for now then. Then I suggest we move on. Let's go. As you wish. I might have to come back to that. Twenty. How on earth did I get twenty? He, he was like, "Stop irritating me. Don't do that. I don't want to discuss it anymore." <laughs> yeah, we we are making the best choices ever. Then likes to be irritated. I figured out Then Then likes to be irate. Let's move on. In fact, let's get Ben as you wish. Front. When you use an offensive single target spell or talent, it will automatically affect your current target. Something, 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 something. Right. Check the map. Well, we know there's another level already. Locked door. It is strange that we have not seen more resistance. Where are all the mages, I wonder? All dead? If they're dead, where are their bodies? Insufficient skill. I believe in Baldur's game that if one member of your party had enough lockpick skill to open the lock, it doesn't matter who clicked on it. And it got around this kind of annoyance of, oh, you have to select the right person. I mean, it makes more logical sense, but from a gaming point of view, it's a bit of a faffle. But there you go. We're going for reality here. Private documents. Ooh, 30 gold uh, XP. Let's check out the private documents. Oh, it's going to be um, a codex, isn't it? Codex, 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 codex. Uh, it could be anywhere now. This needs to be improved. I hope this is improved in uh, the later versions. I heard uh, Dragon Age 2 was not great, but Inquisition was really good. I haven't looked that much into it, to be honest. That's what, that's what my impression is. Uh, private document. Is it under quest then? Sorry, I didn't mean to sigh so depressed. <laughs> it is, mm. I will deal with it. I will make this happen. Maybe not now, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon. And for the rest of this let's play. I will just have to pay more attention this part down here where it obviously appears. Right. So let's go in here. Oh let's actually let's go in here Speak. with Dan. So I don't want my range character at the front. Oh that's not good. Is this another summoning thing? Yes. Scroll of Bannerstar. Scroll containing information on blood, magic, rituals, and dark, uh, dark and terrible. Sign me up. Codex update. Quest related. Let me just have a quick check. This the private letters in here as well. Then no. 
To align with the powers of the Fade is but the first of many steps. Further is to align the mind to the Fade's rules and find tied ties between the realm of dreams and the realm of flesh. This is the true power of blood magic. The flesh and the mind are inseparable, and therein lies the power to influence and control mind. Below the text are indecipherable runes and stains of blood and ink. Others may speak of the sanctity of the mind. To those who know the true power of the blood, this is foolishness. The mind is no more sacred than the knee, or the hour in the knee, or the small toe, or the ear. It is, it is man's organ of reason, nothing more. And true reasoning requires connection to the rhythm of the blood, the tireless pounding of life. Interrupt this, and even the mind is yours to control. And below the text is a diagram of blood magic rituals or descriptions. Charge cop, charge cops. Hello. Oh, are these charge cops suddenly gonna. I can't see the bad guys. Charge cops is there, so suddenly just getting up. Okay, right, that makes sense. Oh. What have I got? What have I got? Powerful swing. Let's fire that up. Job done. Oh! Job not quite done yet. Ah, uh, they're coming from all over the place. Ooh, ooh, health, 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 health. One for you. One for you. Okay, Casey, let's see if we can pin this one. Oh, I can't. Have I, am I out of stamina? Insufficient stamina. Eat a deep mushroom. I've not yet found how... Ooh, an arcane horror. I've not yet found how to increase stamina. There didn't seem to be any stamina potions that I've come across yet, and I've no memory of them existing, so... Apart from deep mushrooms, I'm not entirely sure how to regain. You must be able to create a potion. It's probably under herbalism. But uh, whatever it is, eludes me at the moment. Oh, who's down? Ben's down. That's not great. Okay. Let's put a hex on it. Ow. Oh, big heal. Um, win. Get with the healing. Um, so what's our hero offense? Hero aura. Group heal. Uh, that was good. I'm liking that. That on yourself. Hero aura on Roach. Let's see if we can disorientate this arcane horror. It's going to say immune, isn't it? No, that seems to have done the job. Well done, team. Right, I want Roach up. Do your charge, hopefully knock him to the ground. Nicely done, Casey, you move back. Try and pin him to the ground. Oh, he's gone. He is gone. Have we got a Sven back? We do indeed. Right, take five. Smoke him if you got him. You called. Uh, no, I was actually trying to um, ravage the corpse. Um, I wanted to discuss something you mentioned. Oh, that's new. Corpses can wait. You will tell me now why you were caged. So will you tell me now? Oh, it's less, less demanding. Oh, so you will tell me now why you were caged. I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. What do you mean, a weak mind? That is complicated. I told you before that I was sent here. I was not sent alone. I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad, my brothers, to seek answers about the Blight. We made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident, seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe. Until the night we camped by Lake Callanhad. That's outside. Came from everywhere. The earth beneath our feet, the air above us, our own shadows harbored the dark spawn. I saw the last of the creatures cut down too late. I fell. Lit Kalahad is where the actual circle tower is 
on. It's actually on an island in the middle of it. Um, yeah, that sounds just exactly what happened to me at Ostagar. See, we were all okay. We killed this trolley ogre thing, and then I turned around and got shot in the face several times with a, an arrow. Not good. I heard the stories of Ostagar. Your kith stood their ground when others fled. No one can do more than that. I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead, nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke I was no longer among my brothers, and my sword was gone from my hand. Um, okay, what did you do? I searched for it, and when that failed I asked my rescuers what had become of it. Did the farmers know where it was? They said they found me with nothing. Okay, and then? I killed them. With my bare hands. I did. Say the what now? I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. Why on earth would you panic? You Yeah, you panicked over a lost blade? That sword was made for my hand alone. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Tevinter, unarmed and alone, to bring my report to the Arashok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Soldas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. But surely soldiers lose them from time to time in a pitch battle. Okay. But I guess that's not acceptable in the Barrest. I've never had a... Uh, if, if you're new to my let's play, I've never had the end of the companion before. So this is all cool and new. Let's see, couldn't you have searched for it? Accident happened. If you're that prone to panic, maybe you did desert. Yeah, that's going to go down well. How can your people possibly think that way? Okay, that's probably what I'm thinking. How can your, how can your people possibly think this way? But that's not going to get me on the good side of then and um, we need to keep the tools happy for the time being at least couldn't you search for it if I knew where to look it would be in my hand now well where did you fight the dice board Lake Callahad you said didn't wasn't it near Lake Callanhad Callanhad okay well we'll find it then perhaps those words are empty but Thank you all the same. Oh, plus B, 14. Why did he give us money? Let's read the update. Why did he give us money? I approve of your comment. Here, have one silver piece. Oh, phenomenal. Either you have an enviable memory or a pitiful life. No, nothing of regret. The Northern Ireland are remote lush jungles. That harbour city is rumoured to be the most extraordinary ever built. These are the lands of the Quinari. Lands that no foreign eyes ever see. Really? Did they just close the border then? Interesting. Only the stories of the three exalted marches waged against the giants have reached the south. He's big, but he's not exactly giant big. Until the arrival of Den. The stoic giant in the cage was surely the strangest thing the people of Lothingham had ever seen until the blight struck. He was sent with a small group of Konami soldiers to investigate the blight and report back outside uh, Lothingham. Is it Lothingham? 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 They were ambushed by Darkspawn. They fought up the attack but only then survived. Farmers found him dying and took him in but when he awoke alone and unarmed he panicked. He really must like that sword. Killing the entire family, realizing he had sacrificed his honor, and waited for the village to come and surrendered, expecting death. So that would make sense. You would have to be incredibly honorable to panic so much about losing your sword, and after realizing you've done such a terrible deed, that's why he just hung around and waited to be arrested for his dishonorable behavior. But what's this talk of skill increase? Where would that be? Not under character? Talents? Skills? Massive strength! I've got a massive plot passive. Inspired by your leadership, <laughs> this party member has gained a massive bonus to strength. He was easy! 
Phenomenal, thank you, Stan. Let's put that massive strength to some use. Sorry, that was easy thought, Casey, again, for the umpteenth time. I'm all formed organ cut from the cut of a reanimated horror, and I want to have this. Why? I better pick it up. Green stone. Cobb the gal. As you wish. Ice band. Ooh, cold ring. You got two fingers. You picked it up. You might as well have it. Hold well on, that man. Yes. They're bound to be important. I wouldn't stick them down there for no reason. Right, let's see if we get an electric shock off this one. If, if a bit fiddly. Yes, we do. Is it just then? Let's try a uh, win. Maybe you have to be a, a mage. No! <laughs> that really hurt. Mulligan. You try it out. Very well. <laughs> no, no. Try what it again. It's <laughs> just a shame Alistair's not here. <laughs> Bad Casey. Anyway, moving on. Hmm. Roach. Come sniff the statue. Let's read the apprentice notes. Oh, and a quest update. I'm telling you guys, okay, we read that part. Ooh, scribbling, scribbling. Let's go right down to the bottom. Um, difficult to see exactly. Yeah, the uh, the interface would be a bit more useful if it maybe highlighted the tech that was just added something, so you didn't have to read the entire stuff again. Okay, I think we're up to here. Cord, peasant magic, mutno, can almost see whispers want. Hastily scribbles. The whisper says Great Hall, hidden above us the whole time. The vessel in hand, words from another time, dripped literal power. Put on bowl. A sword raised to sever connection, cut cord. A sword lowered to strike through the ground bile the thread placed before warrior spear raised shield from each si shielded from each side to whispers are known fall where is it it whispered order but not where it's in my head it's all in your head oh, and what was the um big pardon the quest up there oh it's not that one quite a surprise it must be the main one I'm a bit confused and confuddled. Oh, Sword of the Beresad. Locate Sten's Thor. See, this is a different colour when I haven't read it before. It's a shame the actual other text is not the same. Sten revealed to you the reason he went berserk and killed the farmers. He walked Without his sword, the Beres had valued their swords highly and did not part with them until death. The thought that his sword might be lost drove then into mindless rage. You told them that you would try to track his track down his sword. Okay, yeah, we certainly will. We'll just have a look around outside when we get get outside. If we get outside. Bum dun dun Parlor box. Okay, there's something to these statues, but I haven't come across anything yet to explain what we should do. Oh, bowl, sword lowered, sword raised. Yes, I have. I just looked at the statues and realized they're all slightly different. Now, I have to find it again. Blight, circle. No, codex. Codex, 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 Codex. Oh, and here's a, a new feature of the the mod I installed, which improves the size of the tech, and you can change the size to whatever size you want. You can also change the color, which is phenomenal. Uh, is that you get a index of all the um, 
in, uh, codex entries that you've unlocked, which is great. So you can quickly, without having to hover over it to get the pop-up, you can just quickly look down it, which I think is brilliant. Great idea, that is. Okay, so the vessel in hand, that is a, that, of course, the downside is because everything's so big, one slight tip sends it up half a mile. <laughs> so I have to do it by this here. Okay, hidden above us the whole time, the vessel in hand. So put the bowl, uh, raised sword, low sword. Um, a thread placed before a warrior shield. I'm not so sure that what that is, but let's do the first part. Bowl, uh, raised sword, lower sword. Hang on, this shocked us. It last shall time. be done. Oh no, there was no shock that time. Unless I just didn't click on it properly. There is that. A little beep or something would have been nice. Very well. Okay, I've touched all three now. So what's the last part? There you go. Codex again. So I've done a bow, sword raise, sword load, the threads placed before a warrior, spear raise, shielded from each side, so whispers are known false. Where is... Ah, they haven't found it yet. It whispered order but not where, it's in my head. The threads, what threads placed before a warrior shield raise, spear raise. So we're looking for a statue with a spear and it'll have a shield on either shield symbol possibly on either side of it so whispers are known false pass what shield shield There's two shields there no shields there Is it is this a place? But no, there's there's no um, statue with um, a spear. Ah, oh, stop doing that. So it's placed before a warrior spear raised, shielded from each side. So I'm possibly looking for another place that has that kind of look, but with a beer. A warrior in the middle with a spear raised, but I need some kind of thread, so I'm not entirely sure what. But would it be in another room? It wouldn't make much sense. Did I pick up, pick up a plot item? Mm. Mm, I don't think so. Maybe I'm missing the obvious. But um, let's push on. Push on. Delirium. I collect star. Quick check of the map. Common the room. Okay, makes it still working our way around. Oh, then you go first. In fact, Roach. Roach is good because I think he's fastest of all the characters, but he also is a frontline fighter. Which makes it good. Okay. Back up people, back up, back up. I shall do so. But frontline front fighters at the front. Casey get back. Yes. Crazy talk. Yes. Just stay in the doorway. Let Try and block the doorway. Okay, Morgan. I am oh, they're just disappearing around them, that's no good. Excellent. 
by all of you. Pick on him. Vulnerability head that one. So all these abominations were majors. Oh, I keep forgetting they explode. Silly exploding majors. <laughs> Ooh, codex. Take it all. Codex, codex. Promise of pride. Ulrich will show us the way. Finally, finally recognition with the circle and freedom from the scornful eyes of the Templars. We will not be shunned. Be ready. Enchanter Gravid Libertarian. Which is one of the many cliques within the Magi. I have spoken to him directly his intention that we will demand the Templars withdrawal. I don't know what I, that I am willing to follow, but I will be present to hear his argument. Equitarian! Madness! This is madness! This is madness! I doubt blood will be of use to you if it is flowing down this tower steps. Step away from this folly, for it consumes us all. The Loyalist. Oh, lesser rage so Oh, get the corner code on that. When do you look like a frontline fighter? No. Then get away. Well done. Ooh, I think Sven just got a level up. I'm just, we're doing rather well there, so I'm just gonna do a quick save. I shall save quickly, just to confuse you with quick save. Attributes, right. One in constitution every single time, and I'm thinking strength. Strength, strength, strength. Okay, actually, let's reset that. And just have a look at what his skills are and what his requirements may be. 20 strength, 25 strength. Disengage, perfect strike. A relaxed position makes the warrior seem less threatening, reducing the No, we don't want that. We want him to be the point focus of attack a lot. Perfect striking. The warrior focuses on position, getting a massive attack bonus for a moderate time. Bravery. The warrior's on wave encouraged. Grants bonuses to damage, physical resistance, and mental resistance, as well as bonuses to critical chance that increase proportionally to the number of enemies above two that. Ooh, that sounds good. So uh, the more you're surrounded, the more damage you do. And your physical resistance. That sounds like a good shout, that one does. But let's have a look at your two-handed stuff. Shattering blow. Gains a large damage bonus against golems and other constructs. Yeah, a bit too specific for me. Destroyer. Spend the destroyer. Two-handed strength. The character has learned to wield two-handed weapons more effectively, reducing the penalty to attack and defense from powerful swings. Ah, that's useful. Um, what's powerful swings again? Threaten, indomitable, mighty blow, pommel strike. Oh, I thought powerful swings was... Uh... Oh, here we go. I missed it. I missed it. While in this mood, the character puts extra muscle behind each swing, gaining a bonus to damage but suffering penalty. Well, that just sounds like a no-brainer. That one sounds great. So does the one at the top. 200 sweep. So that needs 36 strength. And it's 28. The character swings a 200 weapon through enemies into a vicious arc, dealing normal damage to those it hits and knocking them down unless they pass a physical resistance check. That also sounds great. So you're hitting multiple enemies at the same time with one attack. That sounds great. And that would complement the other one where the more you're surrounded, the more damage you do and the better your resistance is. So because that one tends to be active all the time, I'm going to choose this one first. Get, get that at some point. That seems like a great choice as well. So let's get this one first and play but pop back in that and that made that decision a bit easier Ratio, did I get a level up? no, nope, I've still got oh right, that reminds me I think I'm going to get barred well, I'll just hold on to it for the time being 
I'm going to be Bard and Duelist, I believe. That's the theory. Okay, let's scout the area for stuff. Oh, what's going on here? Is that growing? Sounds gooey. I've not seen any bl bloody animation. So I'm just looking very carefully at the statue. It is done. Hmm, crossbow. Let's see what your range weapon currently is. That certainly sounds a lot better for everything, but maybe it'd be better. Casey, how are you doing? Oh, I can't use. I've got a strength of 12. Really? Casey? What's your strength? 11. Hmm. Might have to improve your strength, Casey. Crossbow seems very good. I thought I do like the, the gracefulness of using the bow over a crossbow. See if I can move Morrigan back. No, that's then. An order. Do 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 do. Get in there. Delight. You will not win. Then your your taunt ability is not taunting enough. I'm afraid. <laughs> My ah, what's threatening on? Over here, attack me. That didn't seem to work. Okay, we've got we've got one uh, winner. Pokemon is back. Oh. Well done, team. I was brilliant. You know, you was you you were okay. You were okay. Well, I'm certainly holding I up this team it. at the moment. Oh, sounds like someone's got their foot in a bear trap. It is begun. Ooh. I saw one of those um, poor gyms in the other room, actually. Um, in Malefactorium Dracos T. Vetim Nealm Speak ye the word and brought life, speak you the word. Ascension! Answers lie in. Text ineligible. Notes on the page below. Here I begin my studies, knowing that full well it will be ch it will change the circle forever. Let history mark the date that this work began, 9:29 a.m. in the morning. Dragon, <laughs> so that when new calendars are put to paper, the date font 0, 0.0 is known within cer with certainty from the mouth of God's finally to the people through me, Chanta Fonts. Thanks very much of himself. Okay, I'm just going to quickly pop back into that other room and double check if there was also another piece of paper on it. <laughs> then, have you found another bear trap? This is the stuff I was after. No, no. Follow me! Better to be safe than sorry. Oh, there's a. Hang on. How come I can suddenly see these traps? Has someone passed a spot trap test or something like that? Okay. Two seconds. I just want to quickly check what my quick save con uh, key is. Do apologise for this. Uh, menus, miscellaneous, quick save, numpad plus. Just helps speed things up a bit. I was expecting the fight. Ah, another Tom page. <laughs> S 
So, page five pages, four mages. Uh, four hundred and sovereigns plus favors. Immortally, immortality worth every coin. Words of creation, proof of maker. No one must know until translations are complete. I will have first enchanter. I will have first enchanter. The ear of kings. I will own kings. Glory everlasting. <laughs> okay. Everyone's having delusions of grandeur. It sounds like. Uh oh. That saved itself. That's never a good sign. What we got? Oh, we got someone's purple. No, Roach. What are you doing? Come here. We're backing up. We are going to try and like get them on <laughs> on our terms, not theirs. I have no idea how many are in there. As you wish. Go for the weaker ones first, people. Right, can you hex him up? Just fire everything! Checking the health, that seems okay. He woke over on Ben. Uh, regeneration, the caster infuses the ally with beneficial energy, greatly accelerate and helping with re regeneration for a time. That sounds good. That was ben as well. That's on yourself. Well done. I had a horrible feeling that was going to turn nasty, but we were okay. We were okay. Ooh, heavy chain mail. Ooh, and with so many gifts were coming across in this place. It's amazing. Small flight, flat white stone with gold rune carved into it. Awesome. And more bling. More bling for Casey. We're going to have a lot of gifts to give out when we get to camp, if we wait that long. Lesser shades. Well, yeah, because we kind of split up the group there, because there would have been another three in there attacking us at the same time, so it will work running back a bit. Everyone get that one. And I need somewhere to shatter it. Does that work? Yeah, beauty. Okay, I can't quite see what's going on. Moving. Let us do it quickly. I cannot be defeated. Well done, Kissy's minions. Here's a working title. That definitely deserves a quick save. these things it's like they're growing the area okay we've got shieldy people here oh there's a spear guy right okay quest updated a low rumbling signals the lowering of ancient protection. Something is free in the lowest levels of the tower. I'm hoping, awesome, I'm hoping then that's maybe the uh, the door to the basement that we couldn't get access to earlier. It could have flashed or just had a little sound or something. <laughs> a little visual, visual representation that would have been nice. Okay, anyway, let's check the map. Fourth level. Oh, we can go up, or should we go down first? Up or down? Up or down? I'm not entirely sure. Let's have a quick word with our friends, uh, <coughs> quote Please. unquote. Is there something you wish to discuss? See if they want to shed light on the situation. Time is of the essence. 
Oh, excellent! Yeah, you've got all the answers. What can you tell me about the litany of Andrala? Adrala? Adrala was a bard in the service of Divine Clemens I during the Second Exalted March. The schism had split the Chantry into the one we know and the Imperial Chantry in Devinter. There was much mistrust of the Devinter Imperium at this time, as you can imagine. All right, let's go. Uh, I still don't trust anything to do with Tavinta. We don't have time for a history lesson. Why wouldn't I have any trust with Tavinta? Okay. Um, yeah. Stop being the teacher and just give us some more of the facts. All you need to know then about the litany is that it protects one from blood mage mind control. Are you sure it still works? Do you know how to use the litany? This will can stop any mind control. Reciting the litany breaks any existing mind control and prevents future attempts at domination from being successful. What, from, from the moment you say it until the end of time? That's pretty awesome. Maybe we should just have that cast on every child at the age of eight at school you know with the other injections that they get don't worry little timmy this will save you from mind control for the rest of your life can you tell me more about aldred aldred oh, it's uncharitable of me to speak oh sorry this way, we've had this I one never liked him skip he was a squirrely skip. he never mentored the apprentices never taught he didn't uh, seem to care much for the soul. oh we're gonna have to go Only through this his own advancement uh doesn't mean he's responsible Skip. I'm sure Woman's Aldred intuition. has some yes. redeeming qualities. Uh, tell me it about yourself. Has a perfectly good reason for we not should get going. Onward, then. Okay, let's go back to the other question. Yes. I'm sure there was... Is there something you wish to discuss? If not, we should hurry. Time is of the essence. Um, no, that was it. That was Onward, it. Onward, then. Have a quick chat with Morgan. I have something for you. That sounds a little vague. Is it bigger than a bread box? What do you mean? I mean that I have a gift for you. Tis a ring. Now before you get any foolish notions, let me explain. Flemeth once gave me the ring because it allowed her to find me no matter where I went, in case I was ever captured by hunters. I disabled its power as soon as we left the wilds. Recently, however, I thought to change it. Now, I will be able to find whoever wears it instead. So you want to keep tabs on me? So you would always know where I am. Why do you think I would want this? It's a sweet gift, I think you. No! No, that, I don't like the way that's worded. Because she'll come back with a, It's not a sweet gift. It's purely so I know where you are all the time. You are far too important to let anything happen to you. Whatever you say, Morgan, she always find a way to, <laughs> to go, No, you're so wrong. <laughs> and that's why we love you. That's right, that's right. So you always know where I am. Yes, that was not obvious. I thought I already pointed this out. Why do you think I would want this? It is not to track you, you understand. I believe you are too important to <laughs> oh, risk. Half right. If you were to get captured, however, it would be far easier to find you with this. Does it do anything else? So you're giving it to me purely out of practicality? I'm glad you see I'm glad to see you care. Okay, shall we try to persuade her to come out with Ashley I care? Or shall we ask directly? This means you care? No, I can't accept it. Fine, hand it over. Thank you for the gift. Or shall we just simply thank her? Okay, I'm just gonna ask this. Let's not beat her on the bush. Straight up. That's the way she likes it. Now you are mocking me. Do you wish the ring or not? <laughs> Make it all the best choices in the world. I am going to keep it. <laughs> Whatever you think, choose the other option. <laughs> Thank you for the gift. You are welcome. Perhaps it will be useful someday. Morgan's approval one just scraped into the positive I'm feeling. <laughs> oh, a new screenshot. Item received. Morgan's will. I mean, uh, plus two willpower. Awesome tastic. Oh dear. <laughs> you know what would be worse? 
if they had brackets one out of 50 <laughs> if they told you that this is just how badly you messed up reload matey reload <laughs> you called yes uh, I can make all the wrong decisions with you and you just give me like 15 approval it's awesome I have a question I am hardly surprised uh, do I uh, do you find Ferelden very strange to put it lightly no one has a place here the oh, we've done this wish one, to be I beg merchants. Pardon. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. But let's ask this. You sound a bit homesick. Perhaps. It's strange to be in a crowd and hear a language that is not your own. To see faces that are and aren't like yours. I miss the smells of Saharon. Tea and incense and the sea. Ferelden smells of wet dogs. I like the smell of the dog. <laughs> Dogs don't smell that bad. You left out the rotten garbage. I wanted to discover them you mentioned. Um, Dogs don't smell that bad. Skunks don't mind the smell of other skunks either. Shall we move on? You just called me a dog. First you called me a child. Now you're calling me a dog then. You're lucky I'm evil and I just don't kill you outright. I'm, I'm going to just use you for all the bad jobs. Next time I see a pile of filth, it's got your name of it. You are going through that pile of filth. Anything else to discuss? Speak, then. Um, yeah, you rubbed me up the wrong way, so now I'm going to get a bit annoyed. Mages aren't as dangerous as you say. Say that to the Templars at the bottom of the Circle Tower. See if they agree. This is an unusual case. Not all mages turn to blood magic. All right, then. Maybe this is a better time to discuss it. This is an. I'm not actually. This is sound familiar, so I may have done this before. But let's go through it. Not unusual enough. enough. You can't condemn all mages for the mistakes of the few. Or do I want him to condemn all mages for the mistakes of the few? Hmm. What do we think, Casey? You can't have seen anything like this before. Can't I? My home has been under attack by the Mage Lords of Tevinter for all my lifetime. I have seen what magic is and what it does. There is no use talking of this. We should move on. Okay. Any other questions? Very well. No, that's enough. Then I suggest we move you on. Are, you are excused. You may go. As you wish. Oh, minus six. No, that did not go well. He is not a happy chappy. Let's see exactly what. Um, he's a happy, warm, cha unhappy, warm chappy. So it was a hundred, and I just got minus six there. I'm doing it. one, one thoughtful gift away from him being a hundred. Phenomenal. Don't worry, then. Don't worry. You'll be fine. What's the time? That's perfect. I think I'm going to leave it here. As soon as I've spoken to Roach, actually, that'll teach anyone who just stopped the uh, the video too quickly. Do you see anything interesting? Roach doesn't seem to have found anything. Bad doggy. <laughs> okay, that was well worth waiting for, wasn't it? Okay, this is all getting very exciting. Okay, so what's the next step? We can either go up to the fourth level or to the basement. Find out what we do in next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, leave me a comment. Um, it'd be great if you could like, subscribe as well. But leave me a comment if you only got time to do one thing. I always love the feedback. And until next time then, take care of yourself. And goodbye for now. Bye-bye.